Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to remove sensor marks from your photograph. The most common way that sensor marks can show up is when changing a lens with your DSLR camera. Particles or dust can get on the sensor which causes to get these dark marks in your photograph. So I've got two different photos here that I'm going to show you how to fix. The easiest way to find these sensor marks in a photograph is you can get your zoom tool Z or on your toolbar palette just click the zoom tool. You can see that they're really noticeable in this picture as they're these dark marks. I'm just going to click. Now I can really see them. They might not be as noticeable when viewing on your computer, but if you try to print these out, the sensor marks will show up as a darker color on your image and they'll be very obvious to see. The great way to fix this is by using the spot healing brush tool. Over here on your toolbar, it's either J or you can just select spot healing brush tool. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS5 so I'm going to use the content aware feature. If you're using a previous version of Photoshop you're going to be wanting to use proximity match. Click sample all layers and then I want to over here on the layers palette create a new layer so I'm having a non-destructive edit on the original photograph since we have sample all layers selected, it's going to sample from my original image. So if I zoom in here, I'm just going to use Command Plus or Control Plus in Windows. I have my brush just a little bit bigger than I would typically need in the left bracket to make it smaller. If I click it, it's going to sample all the pixels around and blend them together. And as you can see, it removed my mark. So there's a few other ones. I'm just going to go throughout my image. Actually, I have a bunch of them on this photograph. You can either click with this tool or you can click and drag as well. And it's going to correct and blend those pixels based in what direction you selected and dragged. So let's do this for a bunch of the spots around my picture. You may have to zoom out just to get a feel for where they are again. Let's do this. A few of them real quick. You can also use your clone stamp tool. The shortcut is S for that. For this, you're going to have to make a selection point by holding Alt, your source point. And then if I have current layer selected, it's only going to select from my layer 1. If I have current and below, now you can see it automatically covers it. So when I click it, you can see the source point shows up to the left of my brush tool. You can see where it's taking it from. This would be great for textures, a lot easier than the spot healing brush tool, but for skies, this works well. Let me zoom out once more. I can make my brush a little bit bigger, then I don't have to zoom up in as much. You can see there's just a bunch of them all throughout this image. So that fixed it really quick. I've got another image here. Uh, you can't really see any sensor marks here, but if I were to zoom in and scroll all the way over to the left of my image, here I have just a few of them, and you would be able to notice these when you printed out your image, although for your computer and web, it's going to be a lot harder to see. You zoom out, command zero, and there you have it on this image, you can't see them. So I quickly just touched up these two images to remove sensor marks from my photograph in Adobe Photoshop CS5.